Now it's time to align the float rail laterally. We've already done a finger tighten down to secure it so that you don't have too much play. But now it's time to align it laterally. And how I'll do that is to use a, sh a shaft, a supported shaft, with a clamp. So I want it to be a nice flush joint so it's no deviation in this plane. And now I'm going to get my clamps. So now I've taken up the um, lateral um, imperfection of the rail by doing my clamp method. Next, I want to make sure that there's no gaps between the rail and this direction. So how I'm going to do that is to take my mallet and just lightly tap it on both ends to ensure that the rails are as snug as possible. Don't hit it too hard or the rails will actually hit one another and ricochet back and you'll actually get a larger gap. So I'm just going to barely tap it. Now I'm going to finish tightening the two butt jointed bolts. Now I've finished tightened the center two bolts on both sides of the butt joint. Now I'm going to remove the clamps. Now that I've tightened my center two bolts, I'm going to use my carriage then to align my rail on each side. So I'm going to actuate my carriage over the joint to the next available hole that needs to be tightened and tighten it to the specified torque. Now I'm going to install the clamp. It's aluminum. As you can see, there's only one way to put it on. Now I'll just tighten these down. As you'll notice, the bolt holes for our float rail are not protected. Our master rail or reference rail, those holes are protected with cover strip. Usually I would put cover strip on both sides, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to install the plastic caps. And now that I've got a few in there, I can just use my mallet to finish, up, finish off putting the cap flush with the top of the rail. So now we've completed the installation of our ball rail table using the Profiled Rail product. Uh, thank you for your time. And again, this is only one way to install our product. There are several other methods, but this is the one that we find to be the most commonly used out in the market. Thank you for your time.